Hey everybody. I know I've been over this before, but I always pick up new viewers, so it's always good to go over some of the basics from time to time and refresh our memories about how some of this stuff works. So today I want to talk about how to properly use a uh, nitrate test kit from API and what the actual goal of using the test kit is. So first of all, you've got two vials, one and two. I have found through experiments that it does not matter if you put in number one or number two first, as long as you do the proper shaking and all that stuff, but we'll get to it. So first we're going to put 10 drops of number one in. Now the instructions say to shake vigorously between number one and number two. But that's not necessary, so I never bother. What is necessary is you are supposed to shake the second bottle vigorously for 30 seconds. You must do this. It's got a uh, reagent in it that is a sediment, and it's a powder. It's, it falls out of solution and just settles at the bottom. And if you don't shake that up and get that really, really vigorously mixed in there and evenly distributed throughout the thick liquid, then you won't get an accurate test. And, of course, every time you do that, you throw the concentration within the bottle off and it gets more and more concentrated as you use it. So it's really, really important to give it a good, thorough shaking. I probably sound like I'm on one of those old timey vibrating machines. Now I've already done this a few minutes ago, so we're going to call that good. I'm sure that was enough. So 10 drops of this. Now you notice how it was nice and clear and dripped out nice and smooth and even. If it comes out looking cloudy or it gets kind of clogged and chunky and doesn't want to come out, then you did not shake it enough. You need to shake that until it comes out like a clear liquid. It also says to shake vigorously for 30 seconds, I believe, something like that. Uh, all you got to do is turn it back and forth a few times and then we let it sit for a few minutes and the color will develop. So this is out of my New World tank. I just did a big water change, so we will get to see uh, how much nitrates are in the tank after the water change. I expect it to still get up to being fairly red. But the words fairly red is important because that's the way these tests work. They're not really meant to give you an exact number of nitrates in your tank. That's just not the goal. It's just to give you a pretty good idea of what the nitrates are. Are they around 30 parts per million? Are they around 50 parts per million? You know, once you get up into the red, anything beyond that, the shade of red is, is virtually impossible to tell the difference. And even at the lower end, where you've got the variance between the yellow, orange, and it fades into red, you're not going to get an exact number out of it, simply because variables within your tank like the salinity of the water will affect the overall outcome of what the appearance of the color is uh, the color temperature of the light you're using if you're using a soft white light versus a uh, cool white light will will radically change the way that vial looks so this isn't some you know NASA experiment where everything has to be absolutely precise or we'll have a failure it's just to give you a good idea of what's going on in, within your tank so when it comes to the meniscus which is basically the little curvature of the line you see theoretically you want to get it so that the bottom of that curve is just kissing the line and that would be an exact measurement you don't need to be that precise about it. You don't need to worry about it that much. Just get it up to that line, uh, more or less, and you're good. I've done experiments where I've put nine drops of one, ten drops of the other, and then done a control, and it came out virtually identical. Um, likewise, I've done 11 drops of one, ten of the other. I've put them in in reverse order. You don't have to be super precise about the way you follow the instructions. You do have to be really, really mindful of shaking vigorously on the second bottle or else it won't uh, give you a proper test. You'll get that clogging and chunking and all that kind of stuff like I was saying. So I'm going to call that good. That's pretty much as developed as it's going to get. It may get a little bit darker than that uh, over the next few minutes, but I'm not going to make you sit here and stare at a colored vial any longer. That gives you a pretty good idea of what's going on in the tank. And again, that's the goal. This is not the idea of giving you 39.2 parts per million nitrates. Nobody cares about that precise of a number. 
there's the, the whole 40 parts per million is an arbitrary number anyway. So the precision is just not necessary. As long as you've got a good idea of what's going on in your tank, that's what the whole purpose of that test is. So I'll put a link down below if you're interested in purchasing that. And again, it's a reliable enough test to give you ballpark figures. If you want something that's going to give you something really, really accurate and precise, I don't know why you would need that. But if you would, there are other tests out there. I'm sure that you can uh, get that. That'll give you uh, higher precision. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Hope that was helpful. And I'll see you real soon in the next one.